Open your books. Turn to the first page. Get a pen. Rule number one to be a boss ass bitch. Never let a clown nigga try to play you. And if he play you, then rule number two. Please stop. I play too much. But for real though. Open your books, turn to the first page, get a pen, okay. Rule number one to be a boss ass bitch. Never let a clown nigga try to play you. And if he play you, then rule number two. Please stop. I play too much. But for real though, I'm sorry y'all. I was raised on Nikki and Trina. So I can't get with the hot girls, city girls, Megan the Stang girl. I like them. But, you know, I gotta go back to my roots. You know, Megan can't re-raise me. I like her, I love her. Play on Erica Badu, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a, I'm a bad lady. So I play too much. <laughs> but anywho. <laughs> okay. But anywho. I'm drinking my tea, y'all. It is, it is too bright. Y'all, y'all can't get this tea. It's a part of my um, business Dirty Truth series, and one of them is going crazy. Y'all like the one, um, this one, the 10 Habits of Highly Successful People. I think that's the name of it. Y'all like that video? Y'all, that was my first video to hit 1k, and now it's gonna be like at almost 1.5k. It's gonna be at 2 and 5 and 10k. People love business videos, like, people love to see your progress. So I would say the first the first tip is show your work. Show your work, show your videos of you doing your work. I don't know what I'm gonna name this video, but it's a it's gonna be a part of my business advice video, you know, business study truth. I'ma link down the first two episodes in the description box. Go watch them, cause you need to watch those two. One of them is how to stay motivated with no support. And of course, everybody had that question. Everybody used to ask me like, I don't got no support, everybody, to this day. To this day, people still ask me that. Like, what do I do if I don't have support? To this day, they ask me that. To this day, but go watch that. <clears throat> I'm gonna do a video on how to get sales, cause y'all ask me that too. Well, consistent sales. How to get sales. That's gonna be a whole nother video because it's a lot you can do to get sales. It's a lot of different ways, strategies. And so anyway, make sure you're taking pictures. You need video, you need to take pictures and videos so they can see. And the reason why you need to take videos is because people need to know that you are a legit business. They need to know that you're a real person. Y'all see them Instagram accounts where they all they do is like post vendor pictures. No baby, they gonna think you a scammer. Scam alert, scam alert, scam alert. No vendor photos, you need to take real pictures with real backgrounds, you know, real props, props that symbolizes your brand. I got me some props, I got me, let me show y'all. I use this, you know, it's supposed to spell kill. I use these in one of my pictures, one of my own, um, when I released some purple lip gloss, it was called my magical lip gloss. I said these, that was my background. Like, I use that because it's me. And also, anybody's gonna steal my, cause people steal pictures, people steal pictures, people, they try to steal your videos and pictures. If you better, if you don't got nothing in the background with your name on it, better put your watermark on it. People steal pictures, that shit, that's real, they steal. So you gotta brand yourself, especially when you got when you shipping orders and all that. Like sometimes I don't have time, or sometimes I just forget to like. No, people need to see me doing this so they can know that this, this is real. Like this is what I do. This is my life, baby. Don't ever. What you're not gonna do is say it's not real. What you're not gonna do is discredit me. I mean, you can say what you want. It ain't gonna stick. Cause it's not legit. Cause I'm um, the I'm gonna need to stop cussing. But anywho, y'all getting my personality today. Like I'm always myself, but y'all finna get this today. I'm finna just like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. 
And also, be yourself. Be yourself. Be yourself. Be yourself with your brand. Be creative. Be you. Don't try to be like anybody else. Yes, people want to see. Did I just spit? Ew. People want to see people that are real, that are themselves. Right? Okay, but when I say be real, unlady like disgusting things, you know. But if that's your personality, by all means, go for it. I'm not knocking you. Um, what's her name? What's that girl name? The crayon case lady. The crayon case. Big super. Is her, is her name Big Super? Super Sink. That's it. So. She built her following and she built her brand around, it was around her personality. But see, she came out with a product later. Those people already knew her, so she do all that cussing and stuff, but that's her. But um, you gotta be you, be you, and you will attract, you know, your people, tribe. That, people that are your people, they will flock to you like a little, like a moth to a flame. Yeah, those are your people. But um, yeah, so just be you. <laughs> the same thing over and over and over so me i do but it's me i do i do like little skit you know, like something silly and then i do like a little modeling i just do different things that but i put my personality into it so somebody else might not like the way i do my things but that's me and i attract people that like me that like my brand so it's like everybody is different don't try to be like somebody else People don't want to see the same thing being done over and over and over. And you can sell the same product, but you push it, you know, you push it a different way. You push it the way you want to do it, you know. Push it to the limit, you know. I push, and I push that limit because I do it, you know. I want to do it. I'm going to be me, 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 me. If you don't like it, you can get. But you're here, so y'all like me. You like me, like, you like me. Oh, my God, you like me. Not me. Me. Not me. Me? Not me. Not me. Not you. Okay. <laughs> but anyway. So I said, you know, be yourself. You gotta take pictures, you know, film your work, film your progress. Oh yeah. Progress. Show your progress. One order to the post office to take in two to the post office. To take in three to the post office. To take in four to the post office. To take in five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yes, I'm ready to get to the point I can take like, you know, be like this. I'm dropping, you know, dropping stuff at the post. I'm like, ah, got so many orders. I'm drowning, I'm drowning, I'm drowning. <laughs> yes, and this tea really is good, y'all. Negativity, delete it. You gotta treat negative and negativity and negative energy like it's a virus, no. I don't want to see you, talk to you, kick it with you, nothing. No, no negativity. Pick life over your business, you know, I said this, I mentioned this in my, I had a manifestation video. People hear that, stop, drop. When people hear the word manifest, they get all scared or they get mad, you know, like, ah, oh, that's all they talk about is manifest. Because it works, it works, it works. Some people think like, oh, that's witchcraft. Get it away. Okay, well, you won't have no business. But anyway, it's not witchcraft. Manifesting is in the Bible. You know, people that say that, they're Bible thumpers. So obviously, let me just break it down to you. It's in the Bible too. Y'all know, I don't, don't, don't quote me on this, but it's some scripture that says, knock and the door shall be answered. Seek, I just speak. Seek and ye shall find. Ask and it shall be given unto you. Bring it back, bring it back, ask. What are you doing? You're speaking with your tongue. These little red pieces of meat. Whatever you say shall come to pass. Whatever you think about, it'll eventually come to pass. So when you speak negativity, you bring the negativity back to you. When you speak positivity, what? When you speak positivity, that positivity is gonna come back to you. Whatever you say, you bring about, you manifest. So when you manifest, you set the tone for how you want your, and it's not just about business. You set a tone for your whole life by manifesting. And I won't be saying this if it's not true. I won't be saying this if it doesn't work. All these people wouldn't be saying this if it did not work. We're not just talking outside of our necks. 
And I have plenty of examples of, you know, and when I think about it, I've been manifesting before I even knew what manifesting was. Like, I mean, take it back to, okay, this, this is off topic, but like if I, if I like somebody, you know, I'm married now. When I used to like people, when I used to date, when I was in high school and she, or high school, at school, you know, all that. You know how you got your eyes on somebody? And when you in grade school, you know, you write their name. So I'm just like, kill. Kill and blank, blank, forever. Dot, 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 dot. And I get them. You know why? Because I manifested it. I said it out loud to myself. We on, um, Fantasia said, I put your picture on my mirror. Uh, manifest and she want to look at him every day and see his picture till it come till he come to her in real life you gonna write their name down you're gonna write what you want to do in real life until it comes to pass you're gonna say it you're gonna say it soldier boy tell him um what it called turn my swag on I ain't even think about this at the time. I had no idea what we were just saying to be saying but they really be dropping gems and some Hot about the bed, turn my swag on, took a look in the mirror, say what's up? Yeah, I'm getting money. Oh, okay, he, he spoke that shit. He said, I'm finna look, okay, he looked in the mirror, and if people don't know, um, that's one of the first thing I do when I wake up. I look in the mirror and I talk to myself. You gotta talk, you gotta speak life into back into yourself. That's you, you're looking at you. So whatever you say, it's gonna, it's gonna go inside you. You know what I'm saying? It's going to settle into your subconscious mind. Life into himself. He looked in the mirror. He said, I'm getting money. Got that dough. And he went and made some money. So, I would just say, um, listen to you. What works for the next person might not work for you. What works for you might not work for the next person. That's why I'm not going into details in this video. I'm just giving you the surface level you know some of the basics it's like just basic stuff because everybody's different like if you follow like certain steps to get to where you're going in business you're gonna get there and that's just period you want to have a space to work so even if you can't you know use a whole room for an office if you can't get an office use a part of your bedroom go ahead go outside yeah that's the best thing i would tell you is to go outside because you can be in tune with nature you know with God, you can be in tune with God, you know, the earth, the universe. <laughs> they were like, all y'all say is manifest the universe, vibes, negative, toxic. Okay, because they're toxic. That's why they don't like when we speak on this shit, because it, it's about them. They're not in tune with their higher self, so they can't understand when we say this stuff. Go outside and work. Go outside, get ideas. Plants. I got plants everywhere. So I got these. I got some fake ones over here too, but these are my real plants. Like, these are my babies, I love I don't know if y'all know this or not, plants run about prosperity. You know, older people, they know this because they're wise. They, they know, they're just in tune. And my godmother, she has plants everywhere. I'm everywhere over the house, but I'm not there yet, but I do have a few more, but I just, I'm starting to love plants more. Like, <laughs> because, um, for one, and you may not see it like me. What color are plants? Plants are green. But they're also living things. So when you grow a plant, your luck grows, your money grows. For one, this is a um, this is a lucky bamboo, but you know, all plants have different meanings. You got the money plant, you know, you have I have aloe plants, you know, jasmine. I should do a video on plants because all plants bring about different results. And it's like the way they're placed in your home. If they're cared for properly, if you nurture them, like you nurture your business. Um, talk to them, sing to them, of course, water them, give them sunlight, and they'll grow. We also need sunlight here, right there. I have motivational quotes and things everywhere. As you can see, I have my little, I have my picture up. You see my eyelash photo? I think it just says, hey babe. But that's because, you know, that's me. I do eyelashes. I do eyelashes, I'm a lash tech, and I sell eyelashes. So it's like, you just wanna brand yourself like I have. And also, um, I motivate, look, this says boss lady. 
I have another one over there that says this girl can. It says believe in yourself. Don't look back. You're not going that way. This one just so cute, y'all. This one is my um my brand cuz too. It's called Be Brave. Wait, y'all see that? Like, you just need a lot of good energy around you. And that's not even like I y'all, I have stuff everywhere that's like motivational because that's part of my brand. Um, I have a Facebook group for business owner and safe space. Ask questions, you know, ask questions and give advice. So, and I'm still growing that. I will leave that link down below. So go join my Facebook group, you know, if you want to. I have to sign a non-disclosure. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm not Queen B. I'm Queen Key. Kill. But, um, <laughs> need things that reflect you, reflect your brand that you can look up every day. Even if you don't want to, um, if you don't have office space, you know, just get you some cute little notes. You are your only limit. Like, almost every single notebook I have, you know, business related or not. Um, you just need to stay in a good frame of mind. It all starts in your mind because your ideas for your business started where? In your mind. You know? Unless you copy somebody else, it started in your mind. Your mind's in a good space when you're thinking about it. When you get new ideas, you're happy like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. So you just got to keep that same energy. You got to keep that same. And, and I know at times we get discouraged or, we, or, you know, things happen, you know, real life happens. So we have to have physical reminders as to why we started and where we're going and to keep going. So that's that's what these physical things are for, you know, to remind you and keep you in a good headspace. I can't believe I almost forgot to say this. This is like the number one to share, 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 share your brand, share your work, post, 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 talk about it. Be about it. Post. If you sell a physical product, wear it. I got on my, I don't have my lashes right now. I know I'm not a good example right now. But I wear my lashes. I promise you, I wear my lashes all the time. I post videos and pictures of myself and my lashes. And I tag myself. I tag my business page. Whether you like it or not, yo, I tag myself. Because that's me. That's my brand. I tag myself and I wear my lashes all the time. Or I have my models or my customers, my cuties. My Kia cuties, that's what I call them. My, my, my Kia cuties that wear my own lashes and lip gloss too. You know, when, they, when you purchase it, you become a cutie. Even if you don't, even if you just follow me, you a cutie. If you um, support my brand business, you a cutie. These are my Kia cuties. So, yeah, you always, you never want to stop promoting yourself. You never want to stop branding yourself. You never want to stop telling people about yourself because that's how you eat. That's how you eat, baby, okay? And I know for some reason people don't do it um, or do it as often as they should because they're scared. What are you scared of? They're scared people gonna unfollow them, unfriend them, them. So, so, it's gonna happen anyway, so just keep doing it. Do y'all know how many people unfriended me when I started sharing my business stuff? Or like unfollow my business page because I post too much? Oh the fuck will that what you supposed to do i don't care get sad get mad get glad get happy get something get aroused it don't matter if they take action you seen it they gotta see it baby they gotta see it let them see it they gotta see it let them see it so what you scared of baby girl you too sensitive baby girl what are you doing baby girl you can't be sensitive in business you can't you gotta let that go it's not personal it's business it's not Personal is business. <laughs> I I buy her workshops and everything all the time. I listen to her podcast all the time. I'm up at her seminars, webinars all the time. She said, oh, well, that means if they unfriend you, follow you, block you, get mad. So that means they weren't your customer to begin with. So who cares if they don't see it? They're not buying from you anyway. You want people that are going to buy from you to see it. You want people that, you know, and of course, um, and another video is you eventually gonna have to start buying ads. You're gonna have to, to reach a broader audience. This is true. 
You got to. You're going to have to. I've ran a couple of ads myself, and I'm doing well. But I didn't start when running ads. You know, I had to learn. I had to learn, you know, how to. Because if you just try to throw an ad together, it ain't going to work. You have to be very specific. What, what NBA say? Pacific. When you say my name, nigga, be Pacific. You have to be specific when you're doing ads. Like, very specific. Because if not, you're going to waste some money. But... I'm not gonna go too deep in this. Like a workshop on ads. Your girl know how to run successful ads. Cause anybody can run an ad, but anybody can run a successful ad. You feel me? <laughs> so that's that's my last and final. Don't forget it. Promote yourself. Brand yourself. I don't care if you unboxing. It don't have to be a business. If your business is YouTube, YouTube, make YouTube your business. Share your videos, share your videos, share your videos, talk about your videos, talk about next, well, I, I would say don't really, don't really talk about things you haven't done yet, but if it's done and you get ready, you know, just, but don't say what you're going to be doing in a month, you know, don't speak on it too, too prematurely because you don't want someone to try to, you know, either steal your idea or try to sabotage because people do that. Evil eye is real. It's a real Keep thing. Keep my necklaces. Both of them. So get you some. Y'all ain't spiritual. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all know if I do a spiritual video, they're going to be like, man, it good. Yes. Yes. I believe in all that. Everything. Mm-hmm. I'm going to throw, I'll throw some sage on the ass. I'll throw some Florida water. You know what I'm saying? Keep that juju over there. It's good vibes over here. Yes. So... But even if I always knew, like, you don't talk about things before they're done. That's just, like, that's a no-no. That's, a, that's like, a perfect way to sabotage yourself. Now, if you promote something that's already done, that's a different story. But talking about something that you haven't even started, everybody's not happy for you. Everybody's not happy for you. It's always somebody watching. So don't just put your stuff out there if you know you ain't even finished with it yet. What is you doing? What are you doing? That, that's not what we do. Because people can never guess what I'm doing next. You can you can never guess my next. To say, I can show you better than I can tell you. And that's pure. I live my life by that. I can tell you all day what I'm going to do. But you, ain't nobody going to believe you unless you do it. You can talk about something all day that you want to do. You can talk about how you want to be, how you going to have this, how you going to do that. Nobody want to hear that. They need action. Me? I'm finna waste my time trying to convince somebody of what I'm finna do. I think I'm finna waste my time trying to convince somebody to believe in me. Now I'ma show you, boom, and I'ma make your ass a believer. That's how, that's just me. I'm sorry, everybody ain't like me. I know everybody ain't like me, but it's like, you just gotta have tough skin. Like, if you don't got tough skin, go get you a snake, go get you a crocodile so you can have some tough skin around you. Cause I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. And then when I be trying to, when people ask me for advice, I don't like to have to sugarcoat it. Cause I'm like, I'm trying to help you. You came to me. If you come to me, you can't get sensitive about how I deliver it. Don't be sensitive about my delivery because what I'm telling you is right. So I kind of stop answering personal and general questions like, trying to be perfect. You asked me a question recently. I might put the answer in one of my videos so I can speak to everybody at one time because people be sensitive. They get mad when you tell them the truth. But it's like you ask. So don't never ask a question you don't want the answer to. You trying to be a business woman, you got to have tough skin. I'm not saying walk around like, you know, just hard, but you know, you got to have tough skin. You can't let things get to you. And it's like, that's, that's always been my attitude. Like, that's just me. Like, can't nobody tell me nothing? You can't tell me that the sky is green. I'm not for letting nobody tell me that the grass is blue. Like, no. And that's me. I have never, I have never been that gullible person. So why would I start now? But it's like, I can't teach people how to be me. But I can just, you know, tell you what's the best thing for you to do. Don't forget, subscribe to this channel. Make sure you follow me on the gram. I have two accounts 
one business is one personal make sure you join my facebook group if you are interested in being a woman of business or if you have a business <laughs> um i got a tiktok but <laughs> I post like random things like some things are business TikToks and some things are random so if you want to follow my TikTok it's Lashback here on TikTok too so thank you for coming cuties I love y'all I'm always so happy like, I'm always happy Stop. I'm always happy that was a crazy question you're always happy no no I'm not always <laughs> and let my husband tell it I'm pretty, but I'm local. <laughs> Let me cut this off, because y'all gonna know what's wrong with her.